Hey, good afternoon. Hopefully this will be sent out to the earwaves by the afternoon. I wanted to give you a little check-in to see what's up with Soul Detox and what are we working on. So I had talked about some time ago that we were going to do some um, little tidbits, nuggets of information, no more than three to five minutes or so. So I want to start today and give you what I have. Um, you got to excuse the camera. Somehow I've set it up to do um, this automated thing and um, we're going to work through it until we no longer have to deal with it. All right. Let's see if we can get it to stay in one place. Work it out. That's why it was recorded ahead of time. Hopefully it'll stay still for a moment. Now it's going to a large screen. Now it's over my head. Yeah, that stuff I don't want, but I'm sure we'll work it out. One way or the other. Now it's cutting my head off. Okay, we might have it now. Well, let's shoot forward and see. All right, our five minute beat today. A beat is the rhythms of your heart. Soul Detox is concerned with the matters of your heart, the matters in your soul that affect your mind, your will, your emotions, your appetite, your decisions, the iCloud, if you will, to the memory bank of you. Everything that has gone on in your life, even the things that you think you have forgotten, the things that you push to a forgotten place, the things that you, um, you kind of grabbed hold of the cliche that says, out of sight is out of mind. Well, let me tell you, it may be out of sight, it may be old, but it is never out of mind. Your mind and your heart has a memory bank called the soul. And if you're just tuning in with us, you can learn all about the soul in my January 2017 playlist on my YouTube page. Um, and it explains deeply how it is the seat inside of who you are. So let me go ahead and give you today's beat, a five minute beat. I wanna to talk to those as I um, use this as a segue into the teaching that is coming up on sex and the soul. We will be talking heavily about how sex affects the woman because the woman is the carrier of life and she is the carrier in sex. The man is the ejector, the woman is the receptor. She is the carrier of his life. So though I will touch on a lot of male side of it, I'm really going to educate or re-educate some of our listeners to understand why you may think the way you think, why love feels the way it feels to you, why meeting someone new triggers certain things in you, and even now that you're married happily, why are you struggling in sex? Why is there a struggle in your mind regarding sex? We're going to talk about all that. We're going to go there. So for mature audiences only, I welcome you to follow me with my upcoming broadcast, Sex and the Soul. So today, five minute beat is coming from a tattered heart. A tattered heart. Is your heart tattered? This topic for today is going to be titled From Loss to Lesson Learned to Living. Going from loss to lesson learned to living. Breakups are never easy. Can you say it with me? You may be in that place or know someone who is. Breakups, however, are never easy. But breakups are a sign and a signal, a gentle or a thrust into a time of change. It is time for change. Whether you've broken up with a friend, a um, relationship intimately, a church, maybe an employer, Breakup is always a sign for change. That's a way to um, recalibrate your mind, to stop thinking of being rejected or it's over, 
or what's wrong with me. It is a signal to let you know it is time for us to make some change. So I want you to embrace breakup in the sense of change, not in the sense of the hurt and devastation of the emotional attachment that you once had. But this is all about personal growth. It is now about personal growth for you. Beat number one, it is now time to take care of yourself. Can you say that please? We struggle women, I know. I know a lot of brothers as well, we struggle. Especially if we've been in long-term relationships with what it's like to actually take care of ourselves. Well, guess what? It is time for change. Life has signaled that you have accepted it. If not, I've got a beat for you as well. But today, our beat is, it is now time to take care of yourself. You only have three options. You only have three options. Three ways to handle a breakup. By investing a lot of emotion to try and win your ex back or to get an apology from someone or to get your employer to see how much they really need you there. You can take a lot of emotion and take some time and invest in trying to get something back and try to win them over. Or you can take step number two. You can go on in a life of denial and pretend nothing ever happened. I think there was a part even in um, Girls Trip where, um, I forget her character, but she was trying to go on her girls trip. She was letting her boss know and he basically told her, uh, no, you cannot go on a vacation, but you can go anywhere you'd like to go because I'm firing you. And as comical as it may have been to many, she went into denial about the fact that her employer was terminating her. And she overtalked him and ended up thanking him. She went into denial about admitting the situation and status of her employment. So you can go and pretend nothing happened and continue to show up at his house or her house or continue to show up at the job or continue to cause aggravation for people. Or you can take option number three, fully heal by taking the necessary time to reflect and deal with your emotions. This one is the hardest choice to make, but it is also the best choice to make. Fully heal is option number three, by taking the necessary time to reflect and deal with your emotions. That's today's beat number one. We're going from lesson to lesson lived to lesson learned. Devastation to destiny. This is where this time and season in your life can actually take you. So there's some guiding principles to this beat number one. And number one, it is time to put yourself first. First, uno, numero uno. Time to put yourself first. And this can be especially hard if you're used to putting others before yourself. Long-term relationships, maybe empty nesters, anyone who's going through some kind of change. Maybe the breakup wasn't so much of a, um, a, a relationship between a man and a woman, but maybe the children are going away to college. There's been a break up in the normal, in the status quo. Well, now it's time to begin to put yourself first. What is your soul work from this beat number one today? Love on you. Love on yourself. Take the time to love on me. Many, 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 many moons ago, when I had gone and suffered a breakup that I wish I probably never had entered in, not that I don't appreciate the experience, I was able to go from a loss to lesson learned. I didn't have to keep reliving it over and over again because someone sold us and we bought into the fact that um, the best experiences in life is the one that's lived through. No, the best experiences in life are the ones that's learned through. We need to learn from every experience, good, bad, or indifferent. So in the sense that I wish I hadn't gone through it because I was too immature to be in a relationship in the first place, I did not have my own identity. I didn't know what style of dress I liked. I didn't have favorite channels. I didn't have favorite authors. I didn't have favorite musicians. I had um, no boundaries, no emotional intelligence. I had no experiences in life in general. To be ready to take on someone else's responsibility, emotional baggage. You know, I poured myself as a drink offering into another human being for maybe 20 years of my life, um, starting at the age of 14. And then change came, the breakup came, and it was devastating. Not only was I suffering with depression, but it was also a time for me to get to know 
who I was. I did not, for many nights, I would sit and look at the television, not even turn it on. Almost like I came out of a caveman place. I did not know what to watch, what I liked. So I had to get a self-esteem and I had to get a healthy self-esteem and I had to get an idea, a clue of who am I? And I took the time to do it and it hurt, it hurt. But I am so glad that I took the time to do it because I am in such a completely different place in my 30s that even now where I am in life, I'm just set solid in my decision makings. I know how to use no as a complete and definite answer. And I know how to feel assured when trouble comes, when people leave my life, when it's time for me to move on. I'm able to keep the emotional balance that's needed. So all the things that depend on me and all the things that I enjoy doing are able to remain stable in my life. So there's some guiding principles. Number one is to put yourself first. And yes, we just shared it can be especially hard if you've been used to putting someone else before yourself. But your soul work at this time is to love on yourself. Outside is always the easiest, and you can start with the outside, you know, the front. We can start with the outside. Maybe a new hairstyle, a new outfit. Take a trip, just take, if you're in the East Coast where we are, pack your car up, throw in an overnight bag and a nice shawl or, or throw. Take a ride up, up north, look at the beauty of Vermont and New Hampshire, the Berkshires, uh, Nantucket, um, upstate New York, the Canadian line. Get out of the city where you focus on people and get into the country where you can see the God who created all things is still in charge of your life. That's just a recommendation. How about picking up a new hobby? Volunteering somewhere is always helpful when you're feeling low to actually give of yourself and help someone else who is not in an intimate exchange of relationship with you will bless your life. And finding new friends, outside, external, the front of things are always easiest. But whatever you do, do not self-medicate. Do not self-medicate. Don't block out or try to fill voids with other relationships, no matter how meaningless they may be. It is time for you to accept your heartbeat checkup today. I got my spiritual symbolic stethoscope out and I'm checking your heart rhythm. And your beat number one is to take care of yourself today. Stay in touch with your emotions. This will lead you to becoming a stronger person and whom you will be very proud of. Enjoy beat number one for today and I'll see you on tomorrow. God bless you.